This is a dung beetle. There are many different types of dung beetles. In fact, there are about 7,000 different species of dung beetles. This one I found in Tanzania on the Serengeti Plains. The dung beetle, as you might guess, feeds on manure. Their preference is for excrement from herbivores, such as cows, or in a case like this, from a wildebeest in Tanzania Serengeti. One category of dung beetle is called the rollers. They roll dung into a round ball, which they use as a primary food source or as a place to raise their larvae. Dung beetles can roll a ball weighing 10 times their own weight. You'll notice that the beetle pushes backwards. It pushes the ball with its hind legs, while its front legs push against the ground. The category of dung beetle called the rollers, like this beetle, roll and bury their dung ball either for food storage or for making a brooding ball where the larvae hatch and can feed on the ball. If this ball was to be a brooding ball, then we'd see a second female beetle either walking very nearby or riding on the ball. You will note that the beetle is intent on keeping the ball rolling more or less in a straight line. The beetle is looking for soil which is soft. This search for soft soil can take the beetle through a forest of grasses, but it keeps pushing that ball past all the obstacles. Dung beetles live all over the world. In fact, every continent in the world has dung beetles except Antarctica. When a beetle does get its ball to a suitable soft piece of ground, it positions the ball. Then begins to dig underneath the ball. It is digging a big hole into which it will bury the ball. When the beetle is done, the ball will be completely covered by dirt. So dung beetles are responsible for fertilizing the ground and for removing dung from the surface of the ground where it could become a breeding ground for insects like flies. So the dung beetle performs a valuable service. It allows us to live in a better, less smelly world. <laughs>